Hey everyone, it's Jenna Melanson from Canadian Beats Media. I'm here with Alexandra from Ottawa's nine piece band, The Peptides, for our newest segment of Zoomies. The Peptides will actually be performing at Ottawa Ice Dragon Boat Festival on February 8th, and it's something you won't want to miss. Welcome, Alexandria. Alexandra. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me, Jenna. So we're going to start off with five questions based around the peptides and the festival. Gotcha. Okay. Care to give us a brief introduction to the peptides? Mm -hmm. So the peptides are a nine member band. So we have four instrumentalists. So we have bass, drums, uh, keys, and guitar. And then we have five vocalists and each vocalist takes turns doing the lead vocals. So there's no lead singer. It's five people. And we even have a huge amount of songs that are stacked five vocals and five uh, harmonies. So it's really rich in harmony. We also do a lot of choreography. We pride ourselves on doing one hell of a live show. And it's always really bright colors. This is um, not my not usually what you'd see me wearing on stage. Usually my hair is anything but my natural color. So okay. big sound, big production, big show, and all original music. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I think I saw a picture and it was very bright colored hair. Yeah. It. Yeah, it's kind of what I expected when I saw you, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell us a bit about your most recent release. Okay, so we our last big studio album is an album called Galapagos, and it's based on the Kurt Vonnegut novel Galapagos. So we're very uh, larger than life disco funk music, but our um, our lyrics are pretty heavy at times, and we always like to get the crowd dancing and then afterwards have them thinking as well. So you really get an experience from our live music and also our recorded music. So we really had a great time with it. We all had a hand in writing, although our primary writer is Claude Marquis, who is actually the founder of the Peptides. Um, it really was a collaborative group project and we're really, really proud of it. Cool. I'll have to check that out. Mm -hmm. What can people expect from your live performance? I know you got into it a little, but. Mm -hmm. Well, they should expect to wear comfortable shoes because they're probably going to be dancing quite a bit. Um, our, a lot of our singers, four out of the five, have extensive musical theater background as well. So there's sort of a cabaret aspect to it as well. And um, it's really the type of show that has a lot of tongue-in-cheek, a lot of us bantering back and forth, a lot of us dancing on stage, and really encouraging everyone to have a great time and let loose at our shows. There are other songs that are heavier, a little bit moodier, a little bit darker, so we do give you a little bit of a break for your feet during it, but you're always guaranteed to have something that will really take your attention onto the stage, and it really is a full, full show when you come to see us. Right. I wish I could go to the festival. <laughs> uh, it would be amazing. And I also should mention, I, I've been talking a lot about our singers, but our instrumentalists are phenomenal. So if you're really into, you know, really seeing instrumental chops, you'll get some amazing solos from everybody, from our bass player, our guitarist, from our drummer and to our keys player. They are all absolutely incredible um, instrumentalists as well. So you're getting really a chance for each individual to shine and you get everything you want from whatever your musical taste really is. Great. Um, what other bands or artists that are taking part in the festival, the Ice Dragon Boat Festival, are you looking forward to checking out? Um, we're actually like the Ottawa community is really nice and close. So I was pretty excited to see some names that I haven't um, hung out with for a little while. So we're, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing Pony Girl perform. They've been one of my favorite Ottawa bands for a while. Um, I'm a really big fan of Amos the Transparent, one of their um, singers, uh, Olenka. She's one of the um, 
she's one of my very, very close friends. And okay. she's actually, I believe that they're performing under Silent Winter. So it's a side project to Amos the Transparent. And um, yeah, Olenka is my dad's goddaughter and one of my closest friends. So not to mention one hell of a singer and music mm-hmm. writer. So yeah. you really can't go wrong with any of the people on the roster. And I know I'm going to forget some of my really close and dear friends, but those are the two that immediately come to mind. Do you have any other upcoming shows or festivals to tell us about? Yeah, actually, well, this is kind of a funny time of year for a lot of uh, bands. We're all in the middle of applying for a lot of festivals. So I was really excited to have one in the wintertime, like the Ice Dragon Festival. Um, But we will be having a show at the NAC on Family Day weekend as well. So it's the Big Bang Festival, and that's going to be um done in the afternoon i believe on the 19th of february we're going to be doing that show and then we're also just trying to figure out a time to get one of our own personal shows up and running so we're trying to figure out which venue we want to play at because we really love hosting our own shows where we get to do our own thing as well Mm -hmm. do you ever play outside of ottawa We do. Yeah. So this year we've applied for a couple of festivals in Toronto and on the East Coast and also at Winnipeg Pride. So we do quite a few Pride festivals. So we've played St. John Pride, St. John, New Brunswick a couple of times. We've done a couple of East Coast tours. We've also played Quebec City at Festival d'été. We've also done Montreal as well. Um, So it's been it's been really great. Hoping to get maybe a little bit more out west this time if we can hit Mm -hmm. maybe uh, Winnipeg would be great or Calgary or Edmonton as well so mm-hmm. okay so now it's time for the just for fun portion nice. um so what was the first festival you ever attended first festival I ever attended would have been Blues Fest because I was really attached to Blues Fest from the time I was young I loved going there so much that I was then a volunteer for about five years afterwards and it's always felt like home so Blues Fest was my first and Blues Fest is one of my favorites yeah it's great our our Emily one of our photographers covers it every year and it's just extensive like yeah. so much <laughs> we're we're so grateful also to how good they are to local musicians i mean we've had yeah. opportunities because of blues fest that we wouldn't have had otherwise so we're really grateful they're really really great to helping out local acts mm-hmm. what's your favorite winter activity um i go between two extremes either i need to be under the covers with something warm in my hands and reading a book or I really love uh, to be out skiing and on the slope. So it has to be one or the other. And I find that, uh, yeah, usually the cuddling under the covers trumps it, though, for me. It takes a lot of effort for me to be out there. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, if you had to perform one cover song at one of your live shows, which would you choose? Oh, um... I would say, because we do have a handful of covers, my favorite one that we do is we do a group version of Freedom 90 with my friend Becky singing lead on it. And that is one of my very favorite songs that we do. Freedom 90 by George Michael is amazing. Awesome. Okay, so if you were able to create a festival lineup with yourselves plus four other Canadian bands, Who would you choose to play and where would it take place? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. So (laughs) um, I'd probably say if it's us and four others, I'd probably choose Chromio. I'm a big fan of Chromio. I really like another band that was bigger in the late 90s, early 2000s called Brand Van 3000. Huge Brand Van fan. Also, um, I really love, there's a group of kids coming out of Humber College that have done amazing music. Uh, There's Bad Bad Not Good and Charlotte Day Wilson. Huge fans of those two as well. And I think as like chaotic as that lineup sounds, it would actually fit very well with the diverse sound that you get out of our group. So yeah, so I'd say Chromio, Brand Van, Bad Bad Not Good and Charlotte Day Wilson. Okay, and where would it take place? Where would it take place? I would love to say somewhere in Prince Edward County because that's one of my favorite places in Ontario as well. Cool. 
Okay, and since Beaver Tails is a sponsor for Ottawa's Ice Dragon Boat Festival, what's your go-to Beaver Tail? Oh, that's easy. I like the, I think it's called the Killaloo Sunrise. So it's the lemon juice and the um, cinnamon and sugar. I love that one. Huge, huge fan. It sounds good. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to give you a chance to promote your upcoming um, festival and you can promote any upcoming shows or music that you want. And for this, you don't have to Zoom, just take your time. Gotcha. Well, I would just like to encourage people to come out to our shows as much as possible. Right now we have um, a show coming up at the NAC uh, on Family Day weekend. So please keep your eyes out for that. And also just in this day and age, what's the biggest thing that you can do for all of your local artists is really to follow and support. So you can find us on Instagram, you can find us on Spotify. So it's always at the peptides. We've secured a lot of that domain. So please just listen to our music, come out to our shows. Uh, we also are really attached to a couple of important charities. So we're raising money for some charities at our shows as well. So a lot for the LGBT community, for the Ukrainian community. So. February 19th and then we have some more shows that we're going to be announcing that we're just in negotiations with so just stay on top of being in contact with us we have a lot of fun content coming out we're just in the middle of making new music and having jam sessions so the next year is going to be really exciting so just stick with us stay as much as you can on our social media and we promise that we will announce a lot of great new stuff coming out awesome well thanks for joining me for this edition of zoomies it's my pleasure.